Hey everyone! In this episode, we probably finish Mario's body and his shoes. If we don't, something terribly wrong happened since that was the video I uploaded. Go into the body object and enable snapping to vertex. Snap these vertices to the top of the strap. Select these faces and extrude inwards with snapping off. Delete these four faces. Edge slide these semi loops to smooth out these areas. Select these edges and mark sharp. Add an edge split modifier, disable edge angle. Select these faces and move them closer to the straps. Select this edge and rip it with V. Select these faces and move them forward on the Y axis. Fill in this edge with faces. Select these edges and mark sharp. Select all and shade smooth. Merge by distance with M. Select the original body shape object and scale down a little bit. Select these back faces and delete them, as well as these underside faces. Turn on snapping to vertex. Extrude out vertices from the strap object and match them to this loop on the body object. Switch to snapping the face and extrude out another loop of vertices. I deleted a stray edge here. Rescale the body guide as needed. Try to uniformly position things. Fill in with faces. Adjust these until you're happy with them. Continue to scale the body guide as necessary. Fill in this last face with a triangle. Keep adjusting everything. Just try to keep this loop close to an even thickness. Select this loop and mark sharp. And this loop as well. Make sure these edges aren't marked sharp. Merge the arms and straps into one object. Select the arms and shift select the strap object, join with Ctrl J. Use the knife tool, turn off occlude geometry, cut like this. Add edge loops on the arm here. Select the middle edge loop and deselect these back four vertices and dissolve edge loops. Add a bunch more edge loops. Hide this one and this one. Shape this loop a little with proportional editing. Add an edge loop in here and hide these two loops. Position it like this and then scout on the Y axis. Alt select this loop of faces and delete it. I separated it in case I needed it, but I didn't need it. Now extrude out the vertices with snapping the face on. At this point, I'm not worried about lining anything up. Create some faces. Add an edge loop in here. It probably would have been intelligent to plan out the amount of vertices on the arm and body objects so they connected perfectly. Which I didn't do. But it's cool. Connect everything up however you want. Add in vertices with the knife tool in any situation where you need more. That's good enough for now. It's not going to be an area that deforms much anyway, so it's cool. Select the body and straps object, join them into one object with Ctrl J. Select all and merge by distance. Do some adjusting. Select and dissolve this edge loop. Merge these two vertices and add an edge in here with J. Mark this edge as sharp. That looks pretty good. Let's make his neck. Add a 16 vertex circle. Position and scale it in his head. Do some shaping and extrude it down. Add an edge loop in here, select and duplicate it with Shift D. Dissolve the other edge loop. Extrude and scale. 
make a shape like this and rotate parts of it with proportional. Smooth shade and connect it to the body object. Hide geometry is needed. Add some faces in under the straps so it gives the appearance of a full object. Select all and shade smooth. Organize your objects, and feel free to move all the retopo objects to the archive collections since we're done with them. Let's make a shirt buttons. Add a cube, add a subdivision modifier. Scale it down. Apply the subdivision modifier, select the back, and merge at center. Pull this vertex back on the Y axis. Position and rotate. Undo and scale as needed, and then position again. Shade smooth and mirror. If you need to rotate this object, position your camera so the back vertex and front middle vertex line up, and then rotate. Do some much needed object organization. Time for the shoes. Add a 32 vertex circle. Position and scale it. Use proportional to shape the circle like the bottom of the shoe. Move this loop to here, duplicate it, and position about here. Hide this lower edge loop. Scale this loop up to match the outer shape of his shoe. Pull it up to position it at the furthest point forward on the shoe. Duplicate this loop, position and scale it. Hide the other loops if you want. Use proportional to shape this loop on the Y axis and bend it up like this. Duplicate this loop, invert select and hide. Scale down and move it up. Shape it like this. Unhide everything. Scale these on the X axis. Select these two edge loops and search for bridge edge loop in the F3 menu. Connect them all with bridge. Add an edge loop here, scale it on the Y and X axis. Add an edge loop here, scale on the Y axis. Select all and smooth shade. Move this edge loop to line it up with this thing. Select these edges and slide them forward. Alt select this edge loop and extrude down. Scale on the Y axis and a little on the X. Delete these faces. Add tries here. Fill in the bottom with faces like so. Mark these edges as sharp with Ctrl E. Add an edge split modifier and disable edge angle. Pull this edge up to match the reference. Ooh, that looks nice. Circle select this part of the shoe and extrude it up. Scale as needed. Select this front part with the middle vertex last. Change the pivot point to active element. Extrude, rotate, and scale groups of faces back. Flatten them out on the Z axis as you go. Connect with faces. Select these faces on the back, extrude. Change the pivot point back to median, scale it down and position it. Create some faces like this. And that's a shoe. Yep, body and shoes, that's a relief. Thank you for watching. Join us next time when we probably model his gloves. Probably. Okay, thanks, love you, bye!